Our hymn is number 210, Hail Holy Queen, 210. Hail Holy Queen and throned above, O Maria. Hail Mother of mercy and of love, O Maria. Triumph all ye cherubim, sing with us ye seraphim. Heaven and earth resound the hymn, Salve, 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 Regina. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. The church honors today the appearance of the Blessed Mother in Mexico in the year 1531, and we know this apparition under the title of Our Lady of Guadalupe. She is patroness of the Americas, North, Central, and South America, and we uh, honor her in a special way in the Dominicans. Uh, so let us, and let us uh, call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to set us free. Lord, have mercy. You bestowed upon us your own mother to be our mother. Christ, have mercy. She is the image of the church and the body of Christ. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray, O God, Father of mercies, who placed your people under the singular protection of your son's most holy mother. Grant that all who invoke the Blessed Virgin Guadalupe may seek with ever more lively faith the progress of peoples in the ways of justice and peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of his covenant could be seen in the temple. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was with child and wailed aloud in pain, as she labored to give birth. Then another sign appeared in the sky. It was a huge dragon with seven heads and ten horns, and on its heads were seven diadems. Its tail swept away a third of the stars in the sky and hurled them down to the earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman about to give birth, to devour her child when she gave birth. She gave birth to a son, a male child, destined to rule all the nations with an iron carad. Her child was caught up to God and his throne. The woman herself fled into the desert, where she had a place prepared by God. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, 
Now have salvation and power come, and the kingdom of our God, and the authority of His anointed. The word of the Lord. You are the highest honor of our race. You are the highest honor of our race. Blessed are you, daughter, by the Most High God, above all the women on earth, and blessed be the Lord God, the Creator of heaven and earth. You are the highest honor of our race. Your deed of hope will never be forgotten. By those who tell of the might of God, you are the highest honor of our race. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Holy Virgin Mary, deserving of all praise, for you rose from you rose the Son of Justice, Christ our Lord. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, "Most beautiful, or most blessed, are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb." And how does this happen to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, "My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord; my spirit rejoices in God my Savior." Dear brothers and sisters, the holy gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'm very excited that we can share about Our Lady of Guadalupe、um, with the students、uh, who are here.、Uh, you'll notice that we have the image over there of Our Lady Guadalupe, and、um, that's a very, very beautiful image. And look at the chasuble that I'm wearing right here. This is called a chasuble, and on this chasuble is a very beautiful image of Our Lady. And I have a very personal connection with this particular devotion of Our Lady of Guadalupe, but I want to just go、um, take you on a trip to Mexico. Who here has been to Mexico? And、um, those of you who've been to Mexico, did you go to see pyramids? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Did you go up the pyramids too, Erlinda? Okay. Well, in、uh, in Mexico, there are.、Uh, The best examples of of pre、um, Spanish, so it's the before the、um, the arrival of the Europeans and Europeans. I mean, basically Spain. Spain sent their ships over at the end of the 1400s and、uh, 1492, and、uh, the, that decade, the last decade of the 1400s, and then in the early 1500s, they started exploring. Uh, all over the place, they explored in North America, uh, uh, Mexico, and、uh, South America, and、uh, they spread,、um, looking for gold. They were looking for、uh, things that they could bring back to this, to Spain. And um, um, well, with the explorers, with the conquistadors, the explorers also came、uh, friars, Dominican and、uh, Franciscan. And other religious orders we,、um, came with the the explorers across the Atlantic Ocean, and they came、uh, to the shores of 
uh, what we call now uh, North America and um, Central America and South America. They didn't call it then. They actually thought they were trying to get to China. And, uh, and um, so they had to rewrite their maps. And uh, so that was a, a big discovery for them. Now, there were, of course, um, people already there. And, there, and, before, and even before the people that they met there had been ancient ancestors. So the pyramids outside of Mexico City that's in a place called Teotihuacan. Can you repeat that? No, just kidding. Um, it's uh, Teotihuacan, and there's uh, some big, big um, pyramids. The biggest one, do you, who remember, who's been up those pyramids? Do you remember the, big, the name of the biggest one? It's called the Pyramid of the Sun. Pyramid of the Sun. Then there's a um, much smaller one, which is the Pyramid of the Moon. And it's really important when you're going to look at this image that you keep in mind that the ancient peoples uh, believed in that the sun was a god. Um, even peoples before the Greeks and the, um, you know, and the, 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 the Hebrew people, uh, they, they, the, even before them, there were people who believed that the sun was some kind of a god and the moon was some kind of a god. Uh, they were both so mysterious because their, their, their cycles seemed to repeat themselves. You know, certain, during the summer, the cycle was really long. During the winter, the, 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 uh, the, the sun was up just for uh, many hours shorter. And the moon just came to, they, they, they learned how to follow the moon and they made stories about the moon and stuff. So anyway, um, a lot of those people who had, um, beliefs in these, in the gods of the sun and the moon, they made sacrifices. And the sacrifices were in order to please those gods because those gods for them were, um, they needed to be appeased. And in Mexico, it was particularly frightening. Um, the Aztecs had raised, had become the most dominant uh, people by uh, conquering a lot of other smaller Indian groups very violently, and they would take slaves. And the slaves, they would, um, uh, they would march them into their temple area, and they would march them up the temple. Um, better cover the ears of the little kids here. Um, but it, they um, would uh, uh, stab their hearts, and uh, they had these um, really bloody um, people who would run the ceremony, and they would stab their hearts and take out their hearts. And uh, and the um, and I, I can't I don't know what happened next. But anyway, the, the bodies would just be falling down the pyramids. And that big the big one when the Spaniards arrived in Spain in. Um, in what we call Mexico City, in, that, in those days it was the city called Tenochtitlan, different than Teotihuacan. It's called Tenochtitlan. Repeat? No, that's okay. Um, and um, uh, when Cortez and the Spaniards arrived there, they couldn't believe how bloody that that religion was and how they, um, they, they murdered, you know, they killed all these, these young, young people, you know, young men and um, um, mostly young men and soldiers that were captured. And it was really scary. And they couldn't believe what a horrible religion what that was. And so they conquered those people um, because it, their religion just seemed like such an affront to anything that was good and human. Well, then um, the, the Franciscans, they tried to uh, bring religion to the people, the Christianity about a loving God. But the people didn't receive it. They didn't understand it. And they missed you know, because their religion had been taken away from them, and so uh, they didn't have any, any. You know, what is what is real anymore? What are, what are we alive for? We have no hope. And then, um, and then also the Europeans, as you know, they brought uh, uh, illnesses that the indigenous peoples had no uh, defenses against uh, smallpox, and so many people died of smallpox. And of course, they blamed the the um, the the Europeans. Well, so. Um, a couple decades went by, and the, 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 the Franciscans who were there in Mexico, they were trying to get the church started in this new world, but the people just weren't, weren't responding. So here comes this incredible event in the year 1531, and it occur, occurred during these days in December. And it's a miracle. Can I tell you the miracle? Do you want to hear what happened? Uh, it's really something. Um, there was a... Uh, an, an, an Indian man whose uh, name was uh, Coatlatzotzil, um, but um, 
since nobody can say that, um, we'll use his, the Christian name that he took after he was baptized. He took Juan Diego. And um, Juan Diego was um, running errands. He was a, a very busy man. He had been a kind of one of the chiefs in that, in that group. And he had a wife, but she had died from the smallpox. And he had children, but they had died from the smallpox. So he was a widow, widower. And, uh, and, and he was doing errands. And uh, he was by this little hill, and here's where she appeared. Um, the name of the little hill is called Tepeyac, and you can still go to Tepeyac and walk up the hill. And, um, but now there's churches all over the place there because of, because of these apparitions. And so he goes to the, he, he's walking past this hill, and he hears something. It's like birds, but it's not like birds. It's like music, but it's not like music. It's something else. It's like, it's like, you know, like in science fiction movies, they'll have like little strange sounds, you know, like when an alien appears or something. Anyway, um, well, it was kind of like this kind of strange music, this strange sound, and he heard it. And he heard somebody calling him Juanito, Juan Dieguito. Um, and he looked up and there was this young lady, there was this young, young lady, and she looked very much like this, this picture here. She is looking down upon him. And one of the things he noticed about her was how young she was and how she was the same racial color that he was. The indigenous peoples had a very dark coloration, and, uh, uh, and she had uh, that, that same coloring. And so uh, in, in Mexico, they call her, because uh, they call that coloring uh, morena, you know, morena. They call her la morenita. And so, um, but that's just one of the hundreds of nicknames that they give to her because they love her so much. And she, she says, Juan Dieguito, um, you know, come here. And he sees this person, and he doesn't know who she is, and she's speaking to him in his Indian language. She's not speaking to him in the language of the Europeans, Spanish. She's speaking to him in his, the language that his um, ancient, uh, ancient ancestors spoke, and so, um, which that language is called Nahuatl. And so she spoke to him, and uh, uh, she says, I want you to tell the archbishop to build a, ch a church for me here. And um, they, inter they exchanged more words, and he's just amazed at her because she looks like the most youngest and happiest person in the entire universe. So just, she's like, this, he's never seen anybody so happy and so loving. There's just so much love coming out of her. And, of course, it's, we, we think back on all of this, and it must have been just heaven somehow opened up and he saw heaven and here is the Virgin Mary. And so he runs to the archbishop, you know, excited. And the archbishop, of course, because he's Spanish and he's Indian, uh, he's a, a, one of the indigenous peoples, they, um, he kind of ignored him and said, oh, you know, I, I understand you want to see me, but I don't have time now. So he runs away, or he, tell, he sends him away and the bishop goes and does his own things. Then later on, um, he goes back to the to the to the, the mount, little hill, and she says, "Did you do what I said?" And she, he tells her, "I couldn't do it." Well, anyway, she, the, goes back and forth, and he finally comes and says, "He wants a he wants a sign." And so, do you know what the sign was? Do you know what he asked for? Yes. Yeah, roses. He asked for specifically Spanish roses, roses that wouldn't have been planted yet. Um, or if they had, they had been cultivated only in, um, you know, people's little gardens or something. But these, this was a wild place. And that's where they found, um, that's, uh, so she, when he sees her, he says, um, uh, she knows already what he, what, what, what he, he said. And so she tells him to come up here to the, to the hill. And he comes up and he has this robe and it's, um, it's not this big, but it was called a tilma. It didn't have her image on it. That it just had, um, it was just made of tilma, and the tilma was not made of wool. It wasn't made of satin or or um, uh, or, any, or anything nice. It was made out of maguey cactus. They used the maguey cactus, and you could, you know, pulverize it, and um, and then you could make clothing out of it. And it was very itchy and rough. And he was wearing one of those things. It's what poor people wore. 
And she said, here, gather these roses. And he brings them to her. And then she arranges them. And she says, give them, now bring this back. Don't show these to anybody and bring them to the archbishop. And that's when this event happened on the 12th of December, which is today, um, the year 1531. He was in Mexico City, standing there before the archbishop and um, uh, uh, whose last name is uh, Zumarraga. And, um, and he said, and he said, oh, there's, there's a little Indian man. Come over here. And uh, what have you got to show me? And he wants to show him the roses. So he, drop, he drops open his tilma and out tumble all the roses. And they're all like lying on the floor. And he's saying they're looking at them. But they're not looking at the roses. They're looking at this image. You know, something happened to his tilma. And there was this image there. And it's, you know, people have argued, said, this can't be true, this can't be true, this, somebody must have painted it. But the skeptics can't answer how that could have possibly been painted. The, even the material, they've examined it. For 400 years it's been examined by scientists, and they can't figure out how the colors are actually in on that material, because it's not a painting. It's the, paint, the, the, the colors are there, uh, but inexplicably. And um, uh, there was once a time when terrorists tried to bomb it and destroy it, it's completely um, un, undamaged. And a um, lot, of, lot of other things have happened to it, but now it's um, in the, the third basilica that's been built there. Um, and so that's um, today, it's so crowded in Mexico City at the, at the basilica and, uh, and people all over the city, all over the country. They see her as their mother. So it's a very beautiful thing. So let's all stand and let us pray. So let's all pray, first of all, for the people of Mexico, and especially the poor people who bond so um, beautifully with Our Lady of Guadalupe as our special, special gift to, to them from heaven. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray, uh, too, for um, indigenous peoples in all parts of the world who are often so um, oppressed um, by the wealthy and the rich. Uh, we pray to the Lord. Let us pray for everybody whose name is Guadalupe. Um, and many, um, many of you maybe have relatives whose name is Guadalupe, um, women and also men. It's a name that just gets applied to everybody. Uh, we pray to the Lord. We pray for, the repo, uh, for healing for Cedric Magawe. For the healing for Cedric Magawe. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for all of you that you may come to understand, uh, just appreciate the beauty of the, uh, the devotions to the Blessed Virgin Mary. We pray to the Lord. And loving Jesus, heal us, bring us your light and your peace. Uh, may we grow in holiness and be with you forever in heaven. For you are Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So let us be seated. And let's sing verse 2 of Hail, Holy Queen. Hail, Holy Queen, number 210. Number 210. Verse 2. Our life, our sweetness here below, O Maria. Our hope in sorrow and in woe, O Maria. Triumph all ye cherubim, sing with us ye seraphim. Heaven and earth resound the hymn. Salve, 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 Regina. Verse 3. Um, uh, and when our life breath leaves us, O Maria, Show us thy Son, Christ Jesus, O Maria. Triumph all ye cherubim, sing with us ye seraphim. Heaven and earth resound the hymn, Salve, Salve. 
Pray, beloved brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we present to you on this feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe, and grant that this sacrifice may strengthen us to fulfill your commandments as true children of the Virgin Mary, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, especially on this feast day of Our Lady of Guadalupe, the feast day of our Blessed Virgin, Ever Virgin Mary, the Mother of God. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light of the world, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, may, and our voices may they join with theirs as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial, of the, the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of God, who we honor today under her title, the Virgin of Guadalupe, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. John the Baptist, the apostles, all the saints, St. Juan Diego, and all who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us stand, and at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us turn to one another and share the sign of the peace of Christ. Peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Let us say the act of spiritual communion together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy.
Let us pray. Lord God, may the body and blood of your Son, which we have received in the sacrament, reconcile us always in your love. And may we who rejoice in Our Lady of Guadalupe live united and live in peace in this world until the day the Lord dawns in glory through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. The peace and the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Go in peace.